Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 12th episode of Macross Delta. In last episode, there was a big focus on Messer's passing and everyone mourning about that, which is all pretty good stuff. And we ended off on a pretty big event starting to take place, so I imagine we'll continue with that in this episode. So yeah, let's dab on in and see how we deal with such a thing. So, 3, 2, 1, play. Something immense. That. Yeah, that cool big old ship we saw before. Yeah, we get to see that in action. I mean, it's on the enemy side, so I shouldn't get too excited about that, but just look at that ship. You can't tell me that's not an awesome ship. <laughs> that was a really cool attack. Just like a wave of blue and purple energy beams coming at them. And it can probably take it, too. Can probably handle it. Yeah, there you go. The big old shields. I really shouldn't get excited about the enemy's equipments, but I am. I mean, just look at that Aurora, like, like animation. Yeah, here it is. That damn VAR syndrome. <laughs> uh, where's the wall code when you need them? Please sing for us. Yeah, you guys. I'm talking about you guys. We need your help. Because it's like really becoming a problem really quickly. Yeah, this is... Uh, we got quite the situation. <laughs> Damn. Not the nuns. Uh. She was like kind of a turning point. Jeez. Well, they made their move. What do we got? I think my ethernet cord fell from its spot. I'll deal with that later. And... That plopping on the bed is the best part of the opening. That just... Fact. Although that's not bad for a uh, mechanic part. We are back into it. Whew. What a beautiful planet. Ah, hello to you. Yeah, I noticed. You know, it's... Things are happening right now. All right, sir. Yeah, yeah, never seen anything quite like this. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. Man, that cleavage, though, Jesus. 
Well, they might put a perfect shot of it. The Wind Singer. Liberated. They use that word a lot. Still gotta be a rough thing for her. I would imagine. Yeah. Well, she sings, I mean. Is she a wind singer, though? Right. Good point. Everyone else on defense. A much less important job. Well, I mean, it's important, but flashy spotlight job is more what I meant. Oh. Okay. Wow. Congrats. Delta 2. Okay, I would love to be in her hands. You know what I mean? I'm sure she can handle it. I would run away if that ship was coming towards my planet. <laughs> Praise. <laughs> and he is here. <clears throat> Good question. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get through to him. He's pretty set on his path here. Yeah, the enemy is definitely not a monolith. That's one thing we can take away from some of these interactions. Oh, hey. Yeah. That would be nice, wouldn't it?
<laughs> right. Okay, yeah, he's pretty old by their standards. I'm glad we asked that question, because I was really curious about that. Because he looked pretty old, but... <laughs> of course. Do we give it to them? Okay, what do you want? <laughs> yeah, what, what, just say why you're here, man. <laughs> oh, he says something all right. Yeah, that could certainly be an issue. Minimal. Give us a minute, we'll come up with something. Yeah, that's just not a great plan. Yeah, Lady M would never approve of such a thing. <sighs> well, screw you guys. <laughs> yeah, that big old thing just comes out of that little capsule. Every time I see it, I... I'm still in awe. <laughs> yeah, evacuation. Those are those are always fun. <laughs> Little catfishies. They just like dragging the homes to the water. It's not quite as simple as you're trying to make it sound. <laughs> Don't ask me hard questions. Okay, did anything come of it? Okay, I guess that's something. But hey, day, we're talking to you. I do too, it's a pretty cool place. <laughs> I would hate to see it get ruined. <laughs> we'll do our best.
Very carefully. Oh, Freya, what are you up to? Now we're gonna eavesdrop. What's the- oh, ap frickin' apples, of course. Yeah, I was hoping they weren't the, uh, the bad kind. <laughs> Funny how things turn work turn work out. Oh, oh. We well, yeah, which planet that might be important. It's probably gonna be important. Our dream came true. Have to at least try. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with admitting that. I like her songs too. <laughs> what a nice moment between these two. That she gets over here. Oh, damn it. You... Shut up, I was trying to eavesdrop secretly. <laughs> you know, just taking my break over here, don't mind me. Uh, alright. Yeah, I mean, I figured she'd be like this. Oh. <laughs> We're all here to help you, support you. Uh... <laughs> I please do. I mean, they better not kill off, kill her off, or I'd, I'd riot. I would riot so hard. Gotta be pretty close to the end of the episode, yeah. We don't have much time to do much, much else. <laughs> wow, she has like a kitty cat in her in her clothes. Lucky cat. Oh my god, this thing's actually moving. Wow, I didn't I took I didn't realize that at first. They're actually moving the thing itself. Wow. That is so good. That's so cool. I knew that would move eventually. Yeah, let's do that. 
<laughs> Let's go. That massive thing actually moving. It's like a launch of a rocket. I like how they're all together. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. <laughs> the thing is seriously just actually moving. We've seen it still so many times. <laughs> Into the gate we go. You could say that. Macross Elysian is coming. <laughs> things are feeling pretty positive right now. Hopefully things go well. Leave it to us, boss. What? What happened? <laughs> yeah, well, elaborate. You mean like the flagship? Are they gonna ram us? Oh, jeez, that thing really is big. Like, wow, look at it compared to the size of our ship. <laughs> it's time to play. King of the Wind. I think that was entirely in Katakana, too. Yeah. <sighs> 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then our, yeah, little preview thing. <clears throat> okay. That was the 12th episode of Macross Delta. And yeah, Winder's Smigahen has made their move, you know? They whipped out that ancient protoculture, massive, amazing, awesome, cool flagship. Brought it into the fold, bringing their wind singer along, I think bringing their king along too, and just whoosh, shal shalahala, just wind singing all over that thing, taking it in like 15 minutes. Yeah, they definitely made a big move here, for sure. A lot of the episode was just us kind of like responding to that, getting, getting, getting ready to make our move, right? You know, reacting to it, getting people together, evacuating, getting things planned out. You know, the whole nun in, in his whole thing with the exploding the runes as a as a method. But we don't really like that method. We kind of like this planet, Ragna. We're really attached to it. I really, I really like the planet. Like, I don't want it to have issues if we can avoid it. So, yeah, hopefully we can protect it for sure. And apparently, yeah, uh, Mirage got promoted, you know, Delta 2. Now that's really cool. Like, I know I know she probably isn't the most confident in herself and her abilities and all that. We have the whole scene of her talking about how she doesn't have talent and all that. Now she has to work hard to make up for it. But, you know, I think she'll do good in the role. I think she deserves it, personally. 
it was kind of funny her just essentially eavesdropping on uh, Freya and Hyatt's date over there right and she her her position was given away because her phone was just like making noise isn't that how it always goes right but yeah some good some good talks for sure like the scene between like the talk the talk between Freya and Hyatt was pretty good talking about how much he loves her songs and all that good stuff that was nice that was nice also got a bit more backstory around some people, you know, the whole thing with the king, you know, like being 35 years old, which doesn't sound all that old, but for their short lifespan, it really is. So I'm glad we got that bit of information because I was curious about that. For sure. And our, what do they call it? The uh, Macross Elysian, I think, I think that's what they called it. Yeah, seeing that thing actually move was pretty great because it's been still for so long, despite the fact that it's, you know, it's a mech, it looks like it's supposed to move, but it hasn't. So getting to see it actually move was pretty cool. I got pretty, I was pretty excited about that. So yeah, they brought the thing into space and went through a gateway and we saw their flagship and I think we're ready to party now. So that should be, that should be something next episode. Pretty hyped for how that's going to go. I think that's pretty much what I want to say on the episode. Obviously, on both sides, you know, there's a little bit of uh, rockiness. Like, people aren't fully united in what to do, how, how to go about things. But that's one thing we seem to have in common with the enemy, you know, discussions about how what to do. Because, yeah, that's obviously a thing. So, hopefully things go well. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty obvious thing to say, but hopefully. Hopefully. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how things go next time, so... Until then, bye bye. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.